Welcome to the Standards of Excellence tutorial on the Annual Awards Program. This video will cover what information and tools are available to chapters for the awards program. Make sure you check the FSL webpage about Standards of Excellence if you haven't yet, as there are tons of new resources for the SOE process. First, let's start with the awards nomination packet, as this will be the primary tool you will need. This document can be found on the FSL website under the Submission Documents. It's directly below the Policy Compliance document. The first page of this document is the Table of Contents, and like other SOE materials, this is a linked navigation to help you navigate the document. This page will also show all of the awards, including chapter awards. The awards that require a nomination or application are individual awards, and the awards that are determined by the chapter score on the SOE submission are the chapter awards. Page 3 is the award guidelines. First-time users should read this information to ensure they know what the expectations are for the submission. The key things to remember are the bullets in the middle of the page that say, do not exceed the provided space pages to demonstrate the characters and qualities of the nominee. All supplemental documents should be uploaded into this document in either a PDF or JPEG format. All supplemental documents should not utilize any font sizes smaller than 11 point. On pages that ask for an award introduction, nominators should provide a maximum of five sentences that could be used to announce the nominee as the award winner. This should include a compelling reason for their nomination and should not identify the winner until the final few words of the paragraph. Now, let's look at the award nomination pages. First is the House Director of the Year Award. If your chapter does not have a House Director, this award will not apply. However, the structure will be the same for the next award, which is the Chapter Advisor of the Year. Every award application will start with the basics, the nominating chapter or person, their email, and the name and information for the nominated individual. For House Director and Chapter Advisor, this section also asks about the years of service at UL. The last section on every introduction page will be the award introduction to be used at the Greek Excellence Award Ceremony. This section should be a short paragraph of no longer than five sentences that could be used to introduce why this nominee has won this award, so make sure to include why you're nominating them. The next page of the House Director and Chapter Advisor nomination includes a place to upload a JPEG or PDF letter of why this nominee should be selected. For the next five awards, a similar structure has been used. These awards are the Outstanding Community Service Award, the Justin Shookus Emerging Leader of the Year Award, the Outstanding Member Involvement Award, the Outstanding Chapter Officer Award, and the Outstanding Chapter President Award. These pages will have an introduction page with information about the nominator and nominee related to the specific award. Additionally, rather than asking for a letter of nomination, these awards will include open-ended questions relative to the values or attributes of the award. For example, on the Outstanding Member Involvement Award, the questions are how has the nominee been involved in the chapter, on campus, and in the Eugene community? This nomination also provides a space for anything else the nominator would like to share. Next are the Fraternity Man of the Year and the Alicia Kazarian Sorority Woman of the Year Award. These two awards recognize exceptional contribution to the community and are set up similarly to the House Director and Advisor Awards. They have a space for introduction information and then have space for up to two letters of nomination. Finally, a new award has been included to allow chapters to recognize one member who has made a significant impact to their organization in that year. This person does not need to be an officer, and we encourage that this award recognizes a general member who has made an extraordinary contribution. Chapters may use any process they wish to identify this award recipient prior to submission. For this submission, the chapter will be asked to provide information about the nominee and why they have been recognized. 
minor alteration after the submission may be allowed on a case-by-case -case basis. The Office of Fraternity and Sorority Life will provide a certificate for this award. However, chapters are encouraged to find ways to supplement this award if possible. Depending on the format of the awards program, chapters may be asked to provide a video or in-person delivery of the award. Chapters are not required to participate in this award. However, we hope that there are members of our community in each chapter to celebrate in a given year. Finally, page 33 includes a list of chapter-based awards and information about them. Remember, you will not be asked to do anything additional for these awards as your standards of excellence submission will qualify your chapter for consideration on these awards. A few tips that may be helpful for the awards nomination packet. First, you should share the awards with other leaders and not try to tackle this alone. The nomination packet asks for a lot of information. However, if this is split among multiple leaders, the questions and information will not seem as lengthy. Another tip would be to nominate for as many awards as possible. While none of these awards are required, the members of your chapter and those that support you have worked incredibly hard in the nomination period and deserve the recognition. A final tip would be to start early on these nominations. This would be a great thing to share in spring term so officers have time to consider and work on these nominations. While chapter officers are not the only folks who can submit a nomination, Chapters should want to submit nominations for the good work of their members. We hope this overview has been a helpful tool in navigating the new resources available to your chapter through the Standards of Excellence. As mentioned previously, we hope to add resources and continue to evolve this program for the UO experience with feedback. For chapters who are beginning their submission process, please review the other tutorial videos on the FSL website as questions about the submission documents and more can be answered there. Of course, if you have any additional questions that cannot be answered by this page's resources, please reach out to your chapter coach for additional support.